A lot of people are under the misrepresentation from a lot of companies that a salt system is a non-chlorine pool. It, it is not. What it does is it converts sodium chloride into liquid chlorine. So what you're doing is you're really going back to the beginning is what you're doing. What made it convenient was you don't have to handle chlorine. In other words, the salt was converted to chlorine via a salt chlorinator. So that became very popular in the last 10, 15 years. And a lot of pool companies, us included, we kind of jumped on the bandwagon because we were told by the manufacturer it had no side effects, it was wonderful. Well, after a few years, we found out there were some side effects, basically. Um, one of the things we discovered is probably the most expensive sanitizer on the market overall, not just from the cost of the unit, but what it costs you on an ongoing basis, plus what it does to your equipment. It um, is highly corrosive to cool equipment. In fact, a lot of manufacturers of heaters and a lot of pool equipment, especially anything that has a steel base, they will void the, the warranty if, in fact, you have a salt system. It'll say right on their warranty. So that's something you should be, you should be concerned about. But one of the big things was it became uh, so toxic that a lot of places, especially in the U.S., have banned it completely. And in the GTA area, you've got uh, Toronto, Mississauga, and now Hamilton, that if you pump any water treated with a salt chlorinator into their, into their sewers, or essentially what happens, it could end up in the rivers. And it can kill marine life, is what the problem was. It's got such a high... Uh, content of chlorides that it, it's very toxic. So what you have to do with this system is you have to dechlorinate it before you backwash your filter or you pump your pool down. Um, the other thing that is really, really bad is um, it causes scale, staining, cloudy water, and it doesn't work under you know, 60, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So. It's got its pluses, but the negatives far outweigh the pluses. Everybody knows, I think, that salt is corrosive. Here's the swimming pool that was leaking. It had a salt system. Look what it did to the steel panels. Now, that's not an easy fix. So that's not something you, you, you want to happen to your pool. Now, this is a salt cell. This is actually what produces the chlorine for your swimming pool. Now, these have to be replaced usually every three to four years. And they're not cheap. They're, they're usually in the five, six, seven hundred dollar range. And one of the problems with them is because salt has a tendency to create scale, you get scale in these fins in here. And when they get scaled up, they cease to operate. So you would have zero um, sanitizer in your pool if these stay scaled up for an extended period of time. So they have to be checked regularly to make sure they are producing chlorine. And when they have to be replaced, expect a pretty good hit. Uh, the thing that really put us off salt systems was a few years back, we had a customer uh, who had a salt system on their pool. They went away for the weekend, let their pump running. While they were away, something floated into the skimmer and blocked the water flow. When they got home Sunday night, they found their salt chlorinator had exploded, blown up. So we said, oh my God, we phoned the company that makes it and said, what's going on? They said, well, you gotta read the fine print. So we get out the fine print and here it is, warning, operating the clear water salt chlorinator without water flow through the cell can cause a buildup of flammable gases which can result in fire or explosion. That to us was, hey, I don't know if we want to be selling these things anymore. Ionization probably um, is the least expensive way to sanitize a pool by far. It kills bacteria and viruses, which is what you want a sanitizer to do, prevents algae growth. Uh, it has no effect on the skin, so you don't get irritated eyes or, or, or itchy skin. It has no effect on the pH of a pool. Uh, water as opposed to a salt system which drives the pH pretty high and you have to be bringing it down constantly so this has no effect. It's totally non-corrosive to any equipment. 
unaffected by sunlight and you're going to reduce your chlorine or bromine requirement by probably about 90%. Now, what we recommend uh, to all our customers is basically put, put, put a, an ionizer on your pool. It's about half the price of a salt system. You don't have to be lugging these big bags of salt into your pool every year. You don't have to worry about pH bounce. And uh, with something like the, the z puck that we have that has zinc in it, this zinc helps clarify the water and basically what you're doing is you're dropping one into your skimmer once a week on a small on a on a on a uh, large pool once every two weeks on, on a, a small pool it builds up copper silver and zinc in the water itself now at a, anytime you put an algaecide in a pool it's always copper based mostly so the copper is what kills the algae the silver is what sanitizes the water and the zinc prevents staining so with this system you get all the benefits without any of the negatives. If I have a relative with a pool, or my own pool, or anybody I know, we always recommend that you go with ionization. It is by far the, the best for any product on the market at this time.